Okay, so welcome back to uh, seven chords that you might not have played before. Um, the first video was fairly well received. Um, so just to explain the concept, I'm going to show you seven chords in C, uh, one for each degree of the scale. So we've got seven degrees, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If you count them, that's seven, because I said C twice. Um, and I'm just going to show you some of my favourite voicings for each degree of the scale. In the last video we um, did these, so this version of C, this version of D minor, this version of E, this version of F, this version of G, and then, can't remember what we did for F, maybe... Uh, this A minor, and then this substitution for the, the B half diminished thing. Right, so, let's start with C. So, this is one of my favourite voicings ever for a major 7. So, although this is something that you play over C, we're actually going to start on E. And we start with an E, a C, a D a G and a B. So you play this over a C. It's one of my favourite sounds going. And you can also play this over the chord 4. Um, so in C major we would be playing over an F major, so we'd start on an A. Anyway, so those are my my favourite kind of chords. So that again. So we're barring with this finger, and then just playing a C. So that's like a C major seven add nine, but in first inversion. Then I've come down for here for my D minor. Which is again one of my favourite kind of sounds. So we've got a D, an F, a C, another D and a G in the top. And I'm just using my middle finger to make sure that the E, uh, lower E string is not ringing out here. So again, barring here. And then just placing these on the D and the C. Gives that kind of tone. That chord can also be moved. So, so far the chords are C in first inversion, major 7, add 9, D minor, flavour, uh, again I think that's probably got a 4 in it, 7, D minor, 7 sus. E minor 7 sus. Um, right, and then what can we do for a, a nice F? Uh, same concept, really. So we've got an A, an F, a C, a D. And a G. So you could play this instead of chord four. Again, a similar kind of flavour to this chord in that we're in first inversion. So again, from the start, we've got this. something G flavoured. So something that I could play over a G. This is definitely another really cool voicing. So in the top I've got a C, a D and a B. And in the bottom I'm putting a G. And you can 
You can also play the F if you want. That's my flavour of G for this video, so a G in the bass, an optional F here, a C, a D and a B. Again, barring with this finger and then just placing Here's a really nice A minor that I've just sort of discovered. A in the open A string, on the D string we're playing a C, then we're playing a D on the G string, a G on the B string and then a D on fret 10. So all together so far, C in first inversion, major 7, a D minor, that same shape moved up two frets, and then same idea, F major 7 in first inversion, sort of, and then this G, and then the A minor and then we need a last thing for the B so here's another cool one Same idea as the very first chord that we start with, so, but with an open E in the bottom. So a B, a G, an A, a D, and an E. And so the order that I've shown you these chords in are going up the scale, scale wise. So for the C, for the D, you can use that in any chord two, the E, any chord three, the F in place of chord four. That will also kind of work over chord six. Uh, the G for chord five. Um, Chord six here, that A minor, and then for the B, use that in place of chord five or and I'm barring there but also lifting and leaving a curve behind the finger so that you can get that E to ring out on the bottom. So hopefully that's a f maybe one or two chords that you might not have played before. Um, as always, the tab will be for this on my Patreon if you want it. Um, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be cool. Maybe share this video around if you think it's useful. Um, and uh, I'll see you soon for part three.